Guys, I should disclose before you even watch this video, I don't believe Jim Farley is telling the truth. I mean, maybe he thinks he's telling the truth, but I don't believe he really thinks that the company are going to do what he says they're going to do. Anyway, here's what Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, said. He believes that what they've just done is the equivalent of the United States landing on the moon. Seriously. Or launching their moon mission to land on the moon. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that you might expect Elon Musk to say something like this. Um, actually, not even Elon Musk is this hyperbolic. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Thank you to those of you who have become YouTube members because that really helps the channel. If you can spare a couple of dollars, just click on the link in the description below because that really helps me to continue making these videos. So what is all of this about? Well, Ford CEO says that it's $30,000 US dollar electric truck has hit prototype stage and it's like the Apollo mission. Now, I should point out that, uh, that Ford has been losing money on the sale of its electric vehicles, losing on average around 30,000 US dollars per car. In fact, sometimes more than that, depending on the quarter. Uh, so I don't know how this is possible. I mean, obviously Ford is saying, well, because we'll be manufacturing these lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL licensed in the United States to make these batteries, therefore that's the solution. I don't know. I mean, I think this is pretty wild. If Ford can do this though, man, I'd be more than happy to eat my words. This would be really, really cool. In 2026, the Detroit Auto Show was kind of a bummer, to be honest. Not a lot of happened. But Ford CEO Jim Farley said that um, their new universal EV platform is going to basically compete. It means they can compete with China on technology and on costs. Now, I'm curious to know, do any of you believe Ford can compete with China on technology and cost in the United States? I think they're so far behind that this is a pretty nonsensical claim. But anyway, that's what Ford's CEO is saying. He said this as well. This is literally like the Apollo or Gemini mission within Ford. Referring to the United States' space programs in the 1960s and the 1970s. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face. A uniquely American high-risk project, just like the power units for Formula One. It's one of the most challenging projects I've ever been involved in. I should point out that um, Ford did just announce a 19.5 billion US dollar loss thanks to the fact that it's cancelled its EV plans with its suppliers and therefore had to pay them out all these massive amounts. Plus, it also cancelled one of its battery factories. And in that same factory, I believe it's going to manufacture lithium ion phosphate batteries instead of NMC batteries with SK on. That was the right decision uh, in terms of changing from NMC to LFP. Absolutely, that was the right decision. And I think I said on the channel to you guys here, that's what they should have done in the first place. But anyway, announced last year, the Universal EV platform is going to debut in 2027 with a Kentucky-built electric pickup truck that Ford said will start at US $30,000. Plus, Ford have said it will have full self-driving, not from Tesla. They say Tesla's system is around 30% more than their own in-house system. So they're going to make full self-driving from their own in-house guys. They're going to make the tech, and Ford says they already have it. Maybe not the brains behind it, but they have the actual arc hardware for it, which is ludicrous and kind of nonsensical. But anyway, they say of this new electric truck, there'll be seven variants or top hats um, arriving on that platform, including a mid-size crossover. Farley says that um, commercialization is going well. So this new electric truck will be built on the same platform as pretty much all Ford electric cars that are going to come out over the next five to 10 years. All the parts are quoted and designed, and now we're deeply into retrofitting the manufacturing facility, said Farley. We stopped escape production, as in the Ford Escape. We have the mega casting machines. Interesting, isn't it, that they're doing mega casting, which is obviously what Tesla invented with gigacasting that also i should point out the new volvos are going to have they just announced that everyone's going to that so if you'd like to book a paid consultation uh, you can do so and i'll put a link in the description below if you want advice on what electric car to buy solar systems all that kind of stuff you can do that it is true some people call me the um the tesla viking which is interesting but you have to admit the fact that che tesla has really changed the industry in a bigger way than just EVs, but in the way of how EVs are manufactured. So Ford are going to use mega casting machines to build these vehicles. And they say 
that that in combination with lithium ion phosphate batteries is how they'll be able to produce a 30,000 US dollar truck. Still sounds fanciful to me, but anyway. We're building prototypes now with our own zonal electric architecture software controlling the vehicles. I was very excited to see, you know, the vehicle turning and stopping with Ford software and the silicon that we designed and spec'd. The silicon that Ford designed and spec'd, interesting. Now, I don't see how an EV platform equates in any way to the moon landing uh, or moon landing programs for all of the 60s and 70s. That seems ludicrous. But Ford believe that this new architecture is groundbreaking. Now, I think it's groundbreaking for Ford, but not for anyone else in the industry. They're sort of probably five to 10 years behind China still, to be realistic, because this, this is not a product yet. It's not going to be out for a couple of years. The $5 billion project originated though in California, away from the rest of the Ford management ecosystem to ensure independence and security, say Ford. And it's led by veterans of companies like Tesla, Apple, and Rivian. It were built on a reimagined assembly line. It's quite different. So it's called their universal EV production system. I don't see how it makes that much of a difference looking at this um, image from Ford, but whatever. What is the cost reduction though? Okay. It's believed that you, the vehicle will use 20% fewer parts compared to a typical vehicle to cut costs. And that, of course, just comes from the gigacasting. Ford said this truck will have the interior space of a mid-sized crossover, which is quite big, while fitting inside the footprint of a Ford Maverick. It'll also have support for over-air updates, and it'll have Ford's own eyes-off and hands-off the steering wheel automated driving assistance about one year after it goes on sale. Now, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you think this is coming? I hope it does. I think it'd be fantastic, but I'm, I am skeptical. Guys, let me know if you share my skepticism or you think Ford can do this. 30,000 US dollars is, I mean, that's a very low price for what sounds like a really impressive vehicle. But Ford have made some promises and not really delivered on them over the last few years when it comes to EVs. And I'm, I'm afraid that that's how this might end up. That said, even if Ford aims for the moon and achieves a little less than that, maybe 40,000 US dollars, even that would be quite impressive. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to Go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing, not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.